I will be going through thermal resistances in pipes. So let's Professor say, Ron Hugo is director of the University of Calgary's Pipeline yeah, Engineering say, Center. Hugo is teaching a course in pipeline hydraulics to a group of graduate students at the university's Schulich School of Engineering. What makes these students unique is that they're all from Mexico, part of a partnership between TransCanada, the University of Calgary, and the Mexican state of Chihuahua. Hugo calls them a rich addition of new energy to the school's graduate program. We, we've never had a cohort of students like this before in the graduate courses that the Pipeline Engineering Center offers. In all, 20 Mexican students are in Calgary for a semester as part of a capacity development program. They come from the state of Chihuahua, home of TransCanada's Topolobampo pipeline. And for most of these engineers, it's their first time away from Mexico. Yeah, in the beginning it was difficult to attend classes in a different language. Yeah. Well, now I think I'm getting used to it. The students will learn pipeline integrity, maintenance and management, new pipeline technologies and project management. I need to be ready and prepared. That's why I'm studying every day here in, in the university. When I go back to Mexico, TransCanada will have people with knowledge and they will be able to, to be working with them. So that's what I want to do, to learn and to be prepared. Well, I think this is a really exciting initiative because as you know, TransCanada has been very, very committed to all the communities it goes through, whether they're in Canada, the United States or Mexico. And we've always worked on trying to engage the communities in our projects in a close way. And this initiative is particularly exciting because we're actually bringing two of those communities that are very, very different together in a new way. Um, I saw this as an opportunity to improve my skills, to develop my skills in uh, another environment that wasn't uh, somewhere that I was comfortable with. We're building bridges through this project that uh, we can't even anticipate now. So I'm sure that the students will come back to Mexico with their new knowledge of pipeline development, operations and maintenance. This will make a big difference to their career opportunities as Mexico embarks on a new era of growth in the energy sector. And it's just a very, very exciting initiative for everyone that's been involved. I understand that after this program, I will have very strong technical skills, specifically talking about pipelines and oil and gas which is something new ongoing in Mexico. So I think it will help me to achieve a different position there or to be like the leaders in this kind of industry in Chihuahua. To send the students off on their journey, the governor hosted a breakfast in their honor. These students know they will be expected to come back as leaders in the Mexican pipeline industry. It's really important for us to get this here, take this knowledge and share it with the people there so they can also develop skills that are necessary in that industry and they can be also helpful for the work that is that's getting done there in Mexico. For TransCanada, this partnership is about building technical skills and relationships. It's equally important for them to understand our culture as it is for us to understand theirs. And I think it just benefits both sides tremendously when this kind of opportunity can, can take place. And they're also learning about Canada, they're learning about Alberta, and they're learning about Calgary and, and the, the, the dynamics that exist in our city. So they, they're learning on all of those different levels. The university is amazing. The place is enormous, it's big, and I'm pretty excited to be here. For now, I'm good about the weather, but I'm getting used to the cold weather, so I think we come in a good season, then we have time to get like ready for the cold. There are people from all over the world here, so maybe I should learn a new language too. <laughs>